Welcome back to Let's Play some Maristis. It's like Marissa and Solstice combined. I know! It's great, isn't it? Well, last time we got us a thing and we opened us a door, which means we get to go into a place. Now I already got the little fancy thing off the side. Let's just go in here. Look at it go. The little block is moving on a little pattern throughout the room, and we gotta do all kinds of jumping and jumping and waiting and jumping and fancy and and and, and. and it comes around and then it comes back down. And then we can jump on top of it. And then we can just wait a little while. Boop. Now, much like the... Much like that one castle in Super Mario World, you can actually just kind of wait at one spot and get on it later. Twice! This one is going to be a little more tricky to get back on it, though. Or not. Ugh. That wasn't so bad. Hey, look at them little fairy ladies. They're all nice and running around, and I am one of you now. Oh man, ice. This is another one of these small block pushing puzzles. And thinking about this one, really we only have two options. We can either move the one in front of Marissa or the one to her right. Now, once again, we've got to kind of think about how we would go about solving these. Work from the solution backwards. So to get in there, we would need to hit... Yeah, to get in there, we would need to hit that, which would mean we need to hit that, which means we need to get up there, which means if we push that block off if we push the block in front of Marissa, we're boned. So we push this one instead. Because we need to be in that little corner up there. And then we can just kind of slip slide our way around. Now the easiest way to trace a solution backwards is to start at the end and move until there is a block off to the side of the path that you have to take. Like, I need to be in here, so the I would have to get here from this direction, which means that I have that one block that is off to the side at that one place that I'm going to have to go all the way around to again. Which means I have to hit the block directly to Marissa's left. The reason you have to do that is because you have to hit it straight on to stop yourself. So then you trace that out, and we find that, lo and behold, there's a block right to the side here that I just intersected this way. And then up here there's another block right here that we can intersect this way, which means we have a whole wall we have to hit. And then we can do stuff and go places, and oh man, we're doing stuff. Ah, this is the introduction of the white, red, blue, and green blocks. Jump on the white block. Ooh, nothing is happening. Perhaps they're just platforms. Oh, but if I jump on the red one, the white ones go away and green ones appear. And then if you jump on green, it just cycles on through, all great-like. What's over here? We can't do anything over there. Good for us. Boop. 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 Ah, uh, I remember this room. I think I remember this room. No! Crap. Nee -nee -nee. This room. This room. This is usually this is where if you remember how I said the previous time that I thought that was the hardest block pushing puzzle in the game. Really? I say that because every other block puzzle, you'd see this one and go like, man, this is going to be really hard. 
I'm gonna have to use the two blocks and like circle around and loop around and do all kinds of fancy stuff. I'll just say now like 98% of the stuff in this room is to throw you off. This is a really easy block puzzle, and a lot of the block puzzles in this game do that. They're like, deceptively simple. So we just take both blocks, and push them down the exact same location. push them out this way and we kind of build up two blocks here that will let us get out. Crap. Well, I made it one way or the other. Just push the two blocks down, loop them around, and you're good. It's just that easy. Again, that's where I've sat, I have sat in that previous room for like tens of minutes just trying to figure out how the heck to do that one. And it's because it just throws you for a loop. And not much we can really do in this one, but just keep pushing. We kind of want to loop around the bottom. If we go around the uh, top, we can't really do much. Or can we? You know, I've never really tried. Yeah, it's going to get way over complicated if we want to go that way. I'm not sure we can do it. We maybe can, but this way is just so much easier because we've got so much more room to move. Now, getting in there is going to be tricky because there's no clean way to get in there. You kind of want to get a clean way in there, so again, you don't think of the, this solution, but it's, once again, not really that hard. It's like you just, you think of a clean, I try to think of a I do anyway, I don't know about you guys. I shouldn't speak for all of you. Hey, a pair of boots! A pair of boots, only they're not boots, they're shoes. Look at them, look at how shoe those shoes are. We got some magic shoes! We can jump higher than ever! Woo! Look at us jump! Look at us jumping! Super jumping! Wait a minute! We have a treasure map for this room! Now, you'd think, oh hey, I can just like jump right up and then walk right on over and do this. And it's not that easy. You actually have to prep yourself a pathway backwards. So despite the fact that you can just walk over it, if you want to get this little secret thing, you have to push block. Block pushing. So many blocks. So much block pushing. Then we get to push this into the corner. Because the only way up in this room is from that back corner, and I don't know of a nice way to get to that back corner aside from doing this. Because we have to push that, then make our way back over. Now we can just wander up here and get us a little secret. Boop. Look at all them secrets. I got another memo from the gatekeeper. Oh dear, I'm starting to feel sorry for her. And now we just need to leave now that we have Boots of Magical Jumping Shoe. Oh, we can go that way now. Now, getting these boots actually... Uh, getting these boots actually, though you would think, it's like, hey, jumping boots, that's gonna make everything easier. It actually doesn't. 
because you jump just a little bit more than a single block now, whereas before you could just jump and consistently jump that one block. Now you jump like a block and a half, so you actually have to be really careful. You can much more easily make two block jumps, though. Ooh, water. Trick in this room, don't jump in the water. Wait! Patience is a virtue, don't you know? Also, not dying is also a virtue. Man, I can just jump out of the water. I don't even have to worry about drowning or nothing. Hey, a room with little fairy ladies I'm gonna jump over and then run like mad. Hey, it's another room. That is totally a room that we have been through before. Yeah, we've been in here. We just couldn't do anything because there was a really high wall. And now we can because we can do things. This is a unique puzzle. I kind of like this puzzle, actually. But if you think about it, though, well, the goal is to get a block and push it down that hole. But to get it down there, the only block that we can get down there is that one on the far right. This block right here is the only one that we can potentially get in that hole. Because all the ones along the wall, we can't get away from the wall. We would have to be inside the wall to push them out. So, we've got to find a way to get this block in that hole. Since we can scoot the little things on the wall over, we can kind of make a wall wherever we need it. We just need to get them in position. So, let's see here. If this thing is going back and forth like that, then the it kind of has to intersect something on a wall. So, it's looking like it's got to go... Like, over this way. Not quite what I had in mind. And then hit this block so it can go up and into the hole. So we're going to have to push it up this way and hit this one. And then push a block. And then slip slide on the ice. Because once you step on ice, you just keep going and I can't get out of the way. Ah! Way getting cannot I. Out of what? Who? How? Okay, this needs to go down that way, which means I need to go over here. Oh, all right. Oh, and I keep forgetting to mention, but the music in this level, if memory ser if memory serves, is a remix of how do you pronounce it? Voily, the Magic Library, which was, if again, if memory serves, I actually haven't looked into too much Toho stuff in a long time, but again, if memory serves, it was um, Pacioli's stage music, which was a giant library fitting. Switch pushing. Now we could go back the normal way, or we could just hop down here, because it's nice and easy and we get a key, so heck yeah, key. So we can go down. Because now we have a key, which means we can go in here. Now I've got to figure out how to get out of here. I need to get in there, which means I'm going to need to... Oops, that didn't work. Which means I'm going to have to actually stop and think for a second how to get that block out of the way. Can I push it from that angle, or... No, I need to hit that. God dang it. Darn it, thinking. You know what? I'm just going to push you this way and not give a darn. Heck with your fanciness. You shall move out of the way now. And then that'll get pushed up and it'll hit a little thing. And then I'll be in this door by the time it gets there. No! I got another piece of the broom! Look at that broom! Look at that broom! 
a map of the Labyrinthine Library. Hmm. Interesting. We shall get back to that. Now, how am I going to get out of here? Crap. I can just go this way. And you know what? I don't want to go that way up here. Somehow I get the feeling there's something in there that I... Ooh, we can also get this! Treasure map number four! Have we been there? Yes, we have! Let's go back there. Man, you're gonna make me go this way. Gonna make me go all the way over here. All the way over here to a room. Way. Oh, hey, I found me a platform. I found me another platform. And that's how you get out. Heck yeah. Well, that was interesting. And not at all what I intended to do. Can I just fall down a hole or something? I kind of just want to fall down a hole. Way. Boop. A library in librarian in training. Would that be um Koakuma perhaps? Hmm. She's in our house stealing our things. This was all just an elaborate ruse to get us distracted. Darn you, Pacholi. Well, I think we're just about done in here. So, I suppose we can get on going. We can jump now. Oh man, we can jump. And you know what we can do when we can jump? We can do all kinds of things. So guess what? Next time on Let's Play Maristus, we're gonna jump. Until then.